Yeah, my name is Corey Lee, and I run the travel blog Curb Free with CoreyLee.com. It's a travel blog that focuses on traveling the world as a wheelchair user. Really, I mean, traveling, it is complex as a wheelchair user. I mean, there's no doubt about it, but um, there are some things that you can definitely do to make it easier. Plan ahead as far as you can. So usually I'll start planning trips like even 12 months in advance if it's international. Um, and then if it's domestic, at least, you know, a few months in advance. So that really just get, kind of gives me more time to, you know, Google and figure out, you know, what attractions are accessible or is transportation within the city accessible or do they have taxis and kind of, you know, navigate all the details that go into traveling as a wheelchair user. The hardest part of traveling for me anyway, and I think for a lot of other wheelchair users, is flying um, because, you know, I always worry about the wheelchair getting damaged during flight and you know, actually being transferred onto the plane is a pretty scary process for me. One time I was arriving back home in Atlanta um, at the airport and when they brought the wheelchair up, the whole joystick had been like smashed to pieces um, and it was undrivable um, completely. And so that was probably the worst and I had to be pushed out of the airport manually and to make, you know, the flying process a bit easier, you know, you could bubble wrap parts of your wheelchair. Definitely, if any parts of your chair will come off, then take them off and take them in a carry-on bag on the plane, uh, just because, you know, the less that's on the wheelchair is the less that can get damaged during flight, potentially. So we, a couple days ago, drove from Tempe up to Williams, Arizona, and then the next day, we boarded the Grand Canyon Railway. Um, so it was about a two-hour, 15-minute train ride up to the Grand Canyon, so they had a lift um, to get me in the train and off the train and then um, a parking spot where I could just you know park the wheelchair inside the train car uh, by my companion and um, they also even had an ADA bathroom um, on the train so accessibility was really really great on the Grand Canyon Railway and then I had a few hours at the Grand Canyon and it was completely amazing I mean no pictures can do it justice so being able to see it in person for the first time it was just incredible. Well, we went to the south rim of the Grand Canyon and the rim trail uh, was paved and um, really easy to get around so we actually went for quite a while, um, probably like a mile or two along it and just saw some different vantage points of the Grand Canyon. So yeah, I mean I absolutely loved it and already can't wait to go back and experience the Grand Canyon again. Yeah, so on my blog I really try to, you know, share all information that someone that's traveling in a wheelchair might find useful. So I really like to review hotels for accessibility, attractions, transportation, um, any detail you know that might make it a little more helpful for someone, you know, visiting Tempe or the Grand Canyon or wherever it may be around the world. I think Tempe is somewhere that everyone should visit. I mean, it's really a smaller city, but there's definitely a lot to do. So even, you know, just rolling along Mill Avenue and visiting all the restaurants and the shops and bars. And I think Tippy is a really great destination for anyone that wants to experience Arizona um, and what all it has to offer. I think the Ability360 here in Phoenix is absolutely amazing. I mean, I wish that we really had these facilities all over the country. I mean, I would love to have one back home near Atlanta. Every ounce of detail that you could imagine for accessibility has really been implemented and thought of carefully. The walking track um, has a special surface for people with prosthetics, and even the you know the gym equipment and the fitness center um, is accessible. So that's something that you really never see anywhere else. Absolutely incredible uh, here at Ability360. My name is Corey Lee, and my blog is CurbFreeWithCoreyLee.com. But check out my article all about the Grand Canyon and Barazona in the next issue of Livability Magazine.